green grass. It's a small coffee, uh, but very well good in ambience. This is on the just roadside uh, when we got from the uh, uh, bypass to Chhatla town. So this is here. So I'm trying a couple of items here. Uh, first one is uh, paneer fritters because. Uh, Paneer and uh, potatoes are the only veg items I can find over their menu here. This is basically having most of the chicken items here. There are a lot of uh, rolls and wraps and uh, starters with chicken items. So we'll try out and uh, we'll come out with how this is in taste as well. So stay tuned. So this is their menu. Uh, they have a lot of uh, snack items here. The starters, wraps, rice balls, sandwiches and uh, rice items as well. Mainly uh, the non-veg items are in higher number. So this is Banyu Fritters. It's nice. It's properly grilled and uh, I think some kind of wrapping is also there. And with this cheese it's tasting yummy. I should say the tomato or the capsicum which is used to cut into pieces over here it's it's also tasting very good properly fried I like this it's so yummy So I have the main course here, uh, this is the main course served here is the veg paella with dumplings. So we have the uh, rice and uh, with a lot of veg stuffs and uh, there is, this is Manchurian I think. So this is uh, looking very yummy, let me taste it. It's very hot. The Manchurian is tasting so yummy. Let me try the rice as well. Mm. It's too good. Rice is properly cooked and a uh, lot of veg items are properly chopped and put with the ghee. So it's tasting nice. I recommend this too. It's a must try if you are here. There are drinks in the So this is a uh, lotus disco. This is a kind of uh, imported biscuits, a shake. So we wanted to try this lotus disco. It's it's also tasting good. Um, uh, more of a biscuit kind of taste is coming over here. Uh, I have tried uh, uh, paneer fritters, then uh, rich paella with dumplings, and uh, this is lotus biscotto. Uh, compared to the rate and quantity, I feel the rate is on upper hand. The quantity is very less here because when I try that rice one, the rich uh, paella with dumplings, the quantity is very uh, very low compared with the price because the price is too sixty and. Uh, the uh, paneer fritters, it's okay. Uh, the rate is 160, the quantity is sufficient. And uh, this one, uh, it's not that good. It kind of, uh, the people who uh, like the biscuits, they're gonna try this. For me personally, I didn't find it uh, that good. So I'm done with the food over here. I tried the paneer fritters and the veg paella with the dumplings and uh, lotus biscuits. So that was a shape. Overall, the experience is uh, good. 
but for the no, uh, vegetarians, I I will say I won't uh, recommend this cafe uh, because the options are very limited. For the non-vegetarians, there are a lot of items you can uh, come and try here because a lot of my friends has also suggested that this place has a lot of good non-veg items. So uh, I couldn't finish, so I have taken some as a uh, takeaway. So that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this food vlog. Uh, we'll come out with uh, another cafe or another place uh, in the coming uh, days. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time.